John Deere Construction Equipment now offers a wide variety of winches for its crawler dozer family, including these models. 450, 550, 650, 700, 750, and 850. This chart shows winch availability by tractor model to illustrate the variety of winches that can now be specified through the Deere configurator. Most understand the primary function of a dozer tail winch, but when it comes time to spec one, the process often defaults to a strictly economic decision. While acquisition cost is important, winch application must be properly evaluated to provide equipment that will best meet the customer's needs. This video examines the Carco hydrostatic winch now available on Deere 450 through 700 crawler dozers. First, let's review basic winch types and applications so you can specify the proper tail winch for your Deere customer. A PTO or mechanical winch is drive shaft powered by the dozer through drive implement pump. Because the drum speed of the PTO winch is dictated by tractor engine speed, these style of winches are offered with slow speed and standard speed gear ratios. PTO winches offer a focused range of winching performance at a moderate acquisition cost. Hydraulic winches utilize pressurized fluid to power an internally housed hydraulic motor which turns the winch gear train. Two hydraulic versions are available through the Deere configurator, high flow hydraulic and hydrostatic. High flow hydraulic utilizes an open loop hydraulic circuit design and requires a directional control valve to direct flow from the tractor implement pump to the inlet side of the winch motor. This style offers excellent winching performance at a moderate price. Hydrostatic uses a closed loop hydraulic design that incorporates a dedicated winch pump to provide hydraulic power to the winch motor. Hydrostatic winches offer superior winching performance and precision line speed control at an excellent price to performance ratio. Winch performance is evaluated by graphing line pull force in relation to line pull speed as shown here. Every dozer tail winch provides a unique winch performance curve dependent upon several factors including tractor engine horsepower and speed, winch type PTO or hydraulic, winch gear ratio, winch drum diameter, and the amount of cable wrapped around the drum. The winch performance graph gives a very good indication of how a winch will function under various conditions and is very useful to compare different winch models to optimize selection. Like a tractor engine power curve, the winch performance curve displays the maximum amount of work that can be performed by a specific winch. Winch operation capability is defined by the area beneath the winch performance curve. As expected, more area under the curve means better performance and better winch flexibility to accommodate variations in application. Here's a winch performance curve for a typical standard speed PTO winch. Next, let's superimpose the curve of a slow speed PTO. Finally, we'll drop in the performance curve of the Carco hydrostatic winch. Simply stated, the Carco hydrostatic winch will compare very favorably with the pulling power of both the slow and standard speed PTO winches over a much wider range of line speeds. This is extremely useful for operations that demand high pulling capacity over extreme line speed variations and precise load placement control. To illustrate how the curve depicts performance, we'll use a green dot to pinpoint a specific line pull force at a specific line pull speed as shown here. The dot indicates a moderate line pull force at a moderate line pull speed. If the operator wants to reel in faster, he can adjust the line pull speed and the dot moves to the right while still maintaining the same force on the cable. Conversely, if he wants to slow the pull for inching operation, he is able to do that as well. Carco hydrostatic winches give the operator tremendous flexibility from low line speed and high line pull force to high line speed and low pull force to low line speed and low pull force and of course high line speed to high line pull force and all points in between. So which type of winch is best? This chart provides an excellent winch selection guidance based upon dozer application. Additionally, by answering the following critical questions regarding your customer's operation, an appropriate winch selection will be recommended. Does your customer experience only one of the following conditions in his operation? His equipment is rental-based. His maintenance practices are poor or uncertain. His winch demand cycle is moderate to high. His operator training is low, uncertain, or unknown. 
His operation requires high line pull capacity at variable speeds, or his operation requires precise load placement control. If only one of these conditions exists, we strongly suggest a hydrostatic winch be specified. Conversely, if your customer's operation is characterized by these conditions, has an occasional winch demand cycle, utilizes a comprehensive equipment maintenance program, has highly trained operators that have a lot of experience in PTO winching, has no need for variable line speed, has no need for precise load placement. A PTO style winch may be suitable for this application. Lastly, actual winch field experience also must be considered. Paper winch evaluations are interesting, but seeing a Carco hydrostatic winch perform in actual pulling tests really tells the story. A load placement control test, and finally, a maximum load pull test. All pull tests were conducted using a Deer 450J as the towed sled and weighing 17,800 pounds. The 450 is equipped with single plate grouser cleats and will be pulled longitudinally by attaching to its winch tow cable. Anticipated cable force required to move the towed dozer is about 15,000 pounds. The specs for the winching crawler dozer is a Deer 650K with installed Carco H40 hydrostatic winch and 100 feet of 5 8 inch diameter cable. We've selected a flat, mixed gravel and dirt graded area to conduct the first three series of pull tests. The test area measures 70 feet long by 30 feet wide and has traffic cones positioned every 10 feet apart for visual reference. Portions of the pull test video segments have been compressed to reduce viewing time. Let's first perform a high speed pull test with full tractor engine horsepower and full wind speed applied. The Carco hydrostatic winch pulls the 450J along at about 110 feet per minute line speed at about 15,000 pounds line pull force. Notice the live winch performance indicator shows slight fluctuations in line pull force due to the variations in ground resistance. This nicely demonstrates why area under the curve is so important. Seems to be the winch of choice for our operators. Uh, feedback I'm getting back from them, you know, they tell me they do, do a good job, uh, especially on uh, being able to feather the winches, uh, the line in and out. You know, it's real important in our work when you're hanging off those mountains, holding other equipment, and men working below you. That's a real part of, real important part of our work. Now we'll view a slow speed pull test. With full engine horsepower applied and winch control handle modulated for low speed, the hydrostatic pulls the 450J at a super slow two feet per minute while maintaining a near constant cable pulling force. The perfect solution for operators requiring inching, not winching. Again, area under the curve means everything. I've been an operator for 15 to 20 years. Uh, we do a lot of pipelining, a lot of steep slopes, a lot of pulling trees. Yeah, and that's very important when uh, you have men underneath you trying to hook up and unhook cables and, you know, you have a man in between you and whatever you're trying to pull, you know, and you just want a little bit. You don't, you know, you don't want to just ram it down. You want a little bit at a time and they're, they're motioning a little bit and, yeah, that's very important. The next segment demonstrates the speed variability and precision load placement control capability of the Carco hydrostatic winch. The 450J is pulled along at maximum line speed and then the operator begins to slow the load until final precise positioning is achieved. The flags and the cable are positioned about 18 inches apart. The fine control of the hydrostatic winch makes load positioning a cinch and again demonstrates why area under the curve is everything to the operator. Uh, so with our new, uh, new equipment, our, our John Deere's, uh, we've been getting Carco winches. You know, we've been running 650, 700 deers, and we've tried other uh, other winch manufacturers on them, but you know, we find that the Carco, the, the H50 in particular, has been a real great winch. Uh, it's a hydraulic winch, as compared to being a PTO winch, which our operators like a lot better because they can feather the winch, you know, between a high and low speed without affecting the RPMs in the engine uh, of the tractor. You know, whether as a gear winch or PTO winch, you know, when you, you know, affect the speed of that, you're going to bog down the engine on the tractor. And none of our operators like that because when you're in these hills, you got to get up and go. You need the power of that tractor and you need the power of that winch. And you don't need one really conflicting with the other. 
And Carco's setup with their hydraulic winch really, really helps us out with that. The final demonstration segment has the winching tractor properly anchored at the top of the hill with a slope measuring 35 degrees or almost 60% grade. The resulting cable pulled force to pull the 450 up the hill is about 22,500 pounds. Notice how effortlessly the Carco hydrostatic winch pulls the 450 up the hill, thanks to the area under the curve. With these four different winch pull tests, it's easy to see why the Carco hydrostatic winch is a favorite for the crawler dozer operators that demand maximum winch application flexibility. For them, area under the curve is everything. Thank you for watching the Carco hydrostatic winch video. We hope you found it informative and helps you with the proper equipment selection for your customer.